Okay, let's see what's over here now. Items of the yellow variety. I could have totally picked those up off screen, but I don't care. I totally am doing it now. Mah. Walking up the stairs. Hello, do, 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 do. I'm walking up the stairs. And that means I'm going to a higher level. Mostly of this building that seems to be built underground. Oh, so many songs stuck in my head this time around. Do 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 do. Do do do. Ow, 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 ow. Curse you, hound of Anubis! Why must you be in my way when I'm trying to explore the lair of Amenhotep 1? Yes, Amenhotep 1 and Amenhotep 2. Those are the names of the family of an Yes. I think we're just about out of tombs, though, so that's good. <laughs> In theory. In theory, we're just about out of tombs. This probably isn't the case at all. Aww. Fine. New one. You know how expensive those Lich Kings are these days? Back in my days, it only cost two mana to summon a decent Lich King, and they lasted for 50 years. Damn Lich Kings these days, not at all how they meet him like they used to. Not at all. Killing this Guardian statue. Shrine of Mastui to get a better Lich King in a moment, apparently, because he's still on cooldown. Yeah, I kind of just want to level up before I actually reach the boss. That would be nice. I would like that. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised that happens, considering the amount of tombs we still have to go through. And I'll go to that top floor in a moment, because it looks like there's a hallway-type area over there. And I'd rather get that taken care of in a moment. And I'm glad I managed to summon another Lich King before my shrine ran out, because it means he's higher level. But yes, I would like to put a few more points in Spirit Master. That is an empty room. But yes, put a few more points in Skill Master before I actually fight the boss, so I can be assured that next time, well, the level up that will happen after the boss will indeed improve my Lich King a little bit. And I like that. I like improvements. They're lovely. I don't know why I see playing lovely today. Maybe I'm just in a lovely mood today. Maybe I am. I don't know. Who knows? Joe knows. Ask Joe. That should be a segment on a radio show. Ask Joe if he knows. Oh, lordy. Please go away. Evil skeletons that are trying to kill me. I'd much rather... Just have you all expel to your own little dimension. Oi! Steve, stop making skeletons appear out of that thing. Very unnerving. Now level up. Thank you for making those skeletons appear. Yep. So what do I get? Oh, uh, mind control. That could be nice. I suppose I barely ever use mind control in any game that has it for some reason. Death Nova. Hmm. I like that. I like the sound of that a lot. Wraith Shell. Making less vulnerable. That's always good. And Arcane Blast. Eh. Probably not that good, but who knows. 
Who needs an arcane blast when you have a spectral shot? I don't. I instead need a car so I can get through these areas quicker because this place looks like it's easily accessible by car if you ask me. If you ask me that is, I'm sure there are probably some people that will disagree, but there's always people who disagree with things so therefore my argument is still valid. This makes perfect sense. Yes. So many tombs, so many tombs, so many tombs, tomb, 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 and lion. And they both died. <sighs> I really hope this is the last tomb, though, because I'm really quite done with this. Tomb of Marenptah. Well, you drop some spectral essence or demon blood already. That's actually kind of useful. But no, you're just gonna kill my Lich King and pretend that's a normal thing to do. So now I have to summon him again. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's really helpful. Money, money, health potion, and money. And some stuff. Come on. There we go. Right to. I think that I am just about done with these tombs because I'm slowly losing the patience to go on with these tombs. And in the later difficulties, I probably won't even bother with them, but there you go. It's nice to have gone through them at least once in their entirety. So, then at least I can say that I have. And if people want to see things in the later difficulties, they should just watch it in this little playthrough with Jingy. And they will agree that it is indeed a good thing that I didn't go through it several times. Ujat of Horrors. I think I have another one of those. I do. Lovely. Demon's blood. Throw it on the floor. You're a demon. You bleed. In general. At least these kinds of demons do because they have blood. Green helm. Are you good? That's a lot of extra energy regeneration and health regeneration, but eh. Who needs it, really? Look at how quickly my energy is going up right now. I mean, seriously. Look at it! You know what? I'm just gonna run <laughs> through these rooms in a while because this is a lot of stuff. But Dark Ovelists do give quite a lovely amount of experience if I've said 17,000 times already except not so much with the word lovely in that sentence. It's a thought that counts, indeed. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick that up in a moment. I'm sure my inventory will be full when I try to do that anyway. Come on. Destroy. I'm barely taking any damage here. This is silly. This is just me bullying these skeletons at this point. Copper war sword. <laughs> You're a skeleton. You can't eat my arrows without surviving. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother picking up all this stuff. I'm just gonna leave. I have enough money to keep myself going for a while, and I am so done with these tombs. <sighs> I'm just gonna continue until I have beaten the boss of this area, though, so... I kinda wanna make it to Act 3 before I stop playing for today. Which shouldn't be too hard. I mean, how many tombs could there still be? I mean, seriously. Oh, Shrine of Mastery, that's good. I think my Lich King died somewhere along the line. I had to resurrect him without the Shrine of Mastery. Put some extra points in that. Never heard Spectral Matter. There we go. Uh, I? Yes, I did carry that around. But yeah, Spectral Matter and Demon's Blood are things that you sometimes need for arcane recipes, so... 
I would like to have that over and done with. Is that the Tomb of Ramses? Oh, look, it's the last one that's left. Who would have thought that the Tomb of Ramses was the one that contained blah, 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 blah. Seriously, did not see it coming. Oh, no. Totally didn't. It seems suitable at the time. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess we're going into the Tomb of Ramses now, so we should be just about done. <laughs> oh look, it's also the only one with two fiery snakes in front of it. That could have slightly given it away. And also pretty much the only one where the music suddenly goes all ominous the moment you go inside it. Yeah, I didn't see it coming that it was this one. They're so subtle about it. So subtle. Presumably this tomb is also about ten times as big as all the other ones, because it's Ramses. He was the richest person to ever live in Egypt. The chip 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 battle marker. Now we're going to kill all of his minions. Because that's what we do around here. We do it a lot and we love it. We are the destroyer of lousy minions that all look exactly the same. With ominous music playing in the background. Now, if that doesn't shout epic story, then I don't know what does. Essence of Seth's Betrayal. I think I need that for a recipe as well. Which one, which I actually have, so that's that could be nice if I found two more of those before the act is over, which I very much doubt, but you never know. I might find something. Though kind of assuming that that won't happen, but there you go. You never knew. And even Ramsey's got some of my famous statues which I built for my old friend whose name I've already forgotten. But I assure you, he was my best friend at the time. And no, I, I'm probably not going to go back to see what was inside the chest. But I might. I might change my mind. I might change my mind. Who knows? Ah! There's ice inside that sarcophagus. Or sepulchre. Whichever one of the two it was, it's all the same to me. I don't know these things. Right. Further downstairs of the Tomb of Ramses is what we are going to call the Room of Large Roomness. It has a dark obelisk, probably on four sides of the room, because it's important that our rooms in the important tombs stay perfectly symmetrical. Very, very important. Oh no, they actually chose to use the all embalmed dead instead, which seem to be carrying around fire. That seems like kind of an odd thing to carry around with you to me, but once again, I am not the one to choose these things. <clears throat> but there are definitely a fair amount of dark obelisk sky obelisks in this little area of here. And it looks like there's another hallway coming up soon, judging from the map. So if you like hallways, this is the video for you. For it contains the infamous hallway of Ramses. Ramses was very well known for his hallways. Most people don't actually know this, but he was very well known for it. Yes. Makes perfect sense. Duh. Okay, I really want to get out of this tomb. So I am just gonna kill these skeletons instead. Pick up that ring that just dropped. Oh yeah. And kill these two skeletons that just appeared. And while there seems to be a hallway down there, there also seems to be a little room over here. It was a little secret room that I hid. Because Ramses was very well known for hiding random rooms in other rooms. I mean, it may not look entirely hidden. In fact, if you were looking at it from a different camera angle, you could have seen it from the other side of the room. 
but that's not important. It's the thought that counts, and Ramses only saw things from a bird eye view, so yeah. In terms of Ramses' feelings, he thought he did a pretty good job. And I completely agree with him. Because I too only see things from a bird's eye view. Or bird's eye perspective, if you will. So yes, it makes sense that I would call his work good. Because we both had the same vision about these things. Royal cover. Coffer. Even. Pick up money. There we go. Yes. We will soon make our way through this little tomb, which is already quite large, but there you go. This is a really large tomb now I think about it, actually. I mean, just this room alone is pretty much infinitely sized the amount of space you get when a normal person would be buried in the flow. They don't exactly get the same amount of space. Alas. Sepulka. 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 Budge stuff, I don't care. Let's continue on our way. To the hallway. Of Ramses. Who owns this hallway. Because it's his tomb. And it contains this hallway. So yeah. And some more statues. Ramses was a very good customer of mine. I always supplied him with at least three statues per day. Damn it, he killed my Lich King. Why did you have to do that? I could probably order my Lich King to like evade stuff if I just tell him where to go all the time. Too much effort. At this rate, I'm actually going to be a level up before I reach the boss. <laughs> Which, well, I, I would definitely like not complain if that were to happen, but it seems kind of odd. Sarkov goes, lots of stuff, it's all yellow, don't care. Because I don't feel like selling up anymore. Not at all. Who knew a trap? Boom! And the sarcophagus exploded. Wouldn't want to be the one that was sleeping in that one. Because that is also not a very good way of being honored. By exploding. Indeed. Oh! What are you doing, Lich King? You have to be careful with these things. You're not dealing that much damage. And he will deal a considerable amount of damage to you. So be careful. Ooh, this is a pretty room. Ah, shit. This room is most pretty indeed. <clears throat> what, what was that sound? It was a bunch of stuff that fell on the floor. And my chair is being all squeaky. Why is my chair being all squeaky? Probably because I'm moving around. Because I've been sitting in the same position for an hour now. And it is becoming slightly uncomfortable. But who knows? I knew this is wrath. I don't have that. Okay. <laughs> right. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know, there might be a green item in this card. There might even be a blue item in this card. Maybe an orange one. I don't even know if this game has anything beyond. Actually, I think it had purple items as well, if I remember. In fact, yeah, that one set item was a purple item, wasn't it? The helmet. Yes, that was probably true. Eh, yeah, well. Boink, boink, and dead. I'm sure it's a good buckler, but I want to take a break. So, I shall not pick up the buckler, and instead have my Lich King die again. Meh. Stop that, Lich King. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Ooh, that's a big stone door. That's always promising. A telkeen in Egypt. Ooh, look, a telkeen. I found it. Oh no. He throws fireballs at me. Oh, he's throwing other things at me now. He's throwing dogs at me and he's multiplying. I don't know which one to hit. 
This is quite an epic battle, it would appear. Oh dear. Why are there so many light bulbs suddenly? And that one was very weak. I'm guessing this is the real one. Because he seems to take considerably less damage than the other one. I don't think he's not really dealing any damage either, though. That's um, I like that a lot. And he's almost out of energy, actually. And that guy's dead as well. Oh, I am taking damage now. I should probably not get hit by all those fireballs. Because he suddenly decided that he can deal damage after all. Yeah, I'm just gonna hug him. He seems like the huggable type. He also seems like the near dead type. And the Telkin has been destroyed. Tablet. A large tablet, not a very large tablet, but I still have some inventory space left. I like that. Let's see. Anything? An emerald crown! I'll check that out in a moment. That's only that's pretty much the only interesting thing he dropped, it would seem. Let's see if I can actually wear that crown, though. There's a fair chance that I can't, because yeah, it's a caster item. Uh, what does everything have to be cast? Well, that thing wasn't very good anyway. Um, right, I guess this is where I have to return to Thebes, maybe? Yes, meet Imhotep in Thebes. Because that was the place with the very large door. But we killed the act boss, so I would assume... That we are nearing the end of chapter two. And that Imhotep is somewhere around here. Do you have anything interesting to say? Stranger, stranger. An aged priest entered Thebes. Yes, I know. But everyone asks where the monsters came from. No one's gonna say, hey dude, you killed the Telkin. That's pretty sweet. You defeated the Telkin? Oh, he did. <laughs> Excellent. Perhaps there is hope yet. You must get to Babylon. Even now, another Telkin is assaulting that city. What is this tablet that you found? Let me take a look at it. Hmm. Oh, no. I know now what these Telkin were looking for. This tablet reveals that within the Temple of Marduk, below the Hanging Gardens, rests the Sickle of Kronos. This sickle was used by the Titans in the Great War and possesses the power to kill even a god. If this sickle is at the Telkin's command, oh, we are all doomed. Hurry, it is most important that you get to Babylon right away. There is no time to go by land or boat. Uh, there may be a better way. Go to the Temple of Hatshepsut, where you will find an ancient portal. The Scepter of Eternity is a key to many realms and can be used with the portal to transport you to Babylon. <clears throat> Place the Scepter before the portal and walk through. Go with all speed. We may already be too late. Well, that sounds promising. I got two skill points. I like that. There. The gates are open. Go, hero. Or I fear to think what will befall us. But yeah, I'm just going to sell up and I'll meet you guys in a moment.